What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. For all you guys that don't know, all of Michael's shirts now are gym shirts. He's a gym bro, and he just gets meme shirts. Like gym bro meme shirts. This one says Miss Groove, which is a popular gym term, I imagine. And then the guy's arm fell off. Yeah, his skeleton is cool. That's it's more of a zombie-like. He's got a lot of yeah. flesh on him. Zombie skeleton, if we will. The term means when you go to re-rack a weight at the end of like the top of the set, like on a like a bench, for example, and it, you cut the clips, but then you miss one and you die because it's a lot of weight. Buddy, I stay re-racking. I re-rack all day. I've had it happen once. It's not a fun experience. Oh man, Earthworm Gym was a good game, and so is Gym from the Office. Like that is They're two good. Gyms. Those are two solid references. Yeah, I'm gonna take time walk, and it's not really remotely close. So, nope. Or hear me out. We could take. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. I was gonna be Copper Line Gorge because I think it's that's like probably a the worst loose pick. Loose argument for Academy, maybe because you can build around it. Yeah, I really like picking up heavy things and putting them down over and over again. My monkey brain enjoys it. Right. Yeah, it's true. He do got big monkey brain. I'm just leaning into the giant human, you know? I might as well use my abilities. So you know we get close on time. Okay. Also, isn't the argument silly because Aragon technically doesn't have a race in the books? It's Apparently he does. Oh. He threw back his hood, showing a shaggy head of dark hair flecked with gray, and in a pale, stern face, a pair of keen gray eyes. But, like... Okay, but Aragorn in the movie doesn't have gray hair. He doesn't have gray eyes. So are you upset at that as well? Or are you only upset with the pigment part? Like, it's fucking annoying. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's not bring it up. I think I'm taking Consecrated Sphinx, because come on, let's be serious. Now we're taking Leovold. I thought that was a bit of Frank fan fiction you're reading. It was. Um, miscalc or Mully? I like miscalc. You ever counter spell, spell man? It feels so good. No one expects a counter spell, even when they should. Yeah, I'll take a miscalc. Mull drift all day, son. I'm a mull drift into a miscalculation, you little biscuit. You see me, I got him. Oh, look at this beautiful baby boy. Seems good. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm taking it. <laughs> Eating it. See how it's going to be. How's it going to be? How's it going to be? Really okay. I don't know if Muldrift is good enough for Commander anymore. Is that a hot take? That was a miscalculation. <laughs> Michael Perry, you are on fire right now. Go to the hospital because you're on fire. Yeah. And I told people, I'm like, dude, okay, so here's my post. I posted a video from this guy on Twitter, right? It's a it's a it's a video of a guy first seeing Aragorn uh, as black. And he gets visibly emotional about it because it's such a fucking meaningful thing because he's like, I've never had this representation before. And this is fucking huge. Cause I love Lord of the Rings. It's one of my favorite things. And I've never felt represented before. Like I've never seen myself in one of the characters and now I can. And he's like, he's like trying to hold back tears. And so I said, I'm just going to say it. If you can watch this video about a representation visibly and emotionally affects one person, one human being, and you can still come here with your bullshit about canon and the pigment of people's skin of fictional characters. Do us both a favor. 
post a comment admitting you're a petty bigot and unfriend me. So that'd be cool. How am I getting moderated? You've been moderated. Yeah, you've just always been a moderator. I would never moderate you now, but your grandfather did. Got him. Oh, man, I got him. I guess it's metamorph here. Oh, and Edric. Is that good? I don't know. Maybe. I like a chorus of Portal 2, though, you know? Everybody knows. Oh, wow. I'm sorry I'm so transparent, Michael. I think it is better than Edric here, though. I can't say, F. You, you just said it. I'll take Course of Portal, sure. Force of Vigor is pretty good. It's the only card we even remotely consider playing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Now we're going to back and pack one again. Wow, you can say bullshit, but you can't say the F word. That's wild. Is Michael drunk? Do you think he's been drinking? Because this is a lot. Like a lot. Usually people don't talk this this frequently unless they've had a little. Uh, I don't know. I talk a lot. You know. What do you mean? Can you explain it to me? You know. Slowly. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Look, uh, it came back. See, no one has any respect for this card, man. It's not a first pick anymore. <sighs> also, it's kind of kind of dope. Oh, the white card? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I might have had some sippies. <laughs> I want to take the CB. Oh, is this a good one? That's Rafine's Tower. I guess it's two. That's fine. Two seems good enough. Two seems good enough for your mama and your daddy. The Mall Drifter came back. I'll take Mall Drifter. You know what? I ain't too proud to Mall Drift. I like a Valky, too. I wonder if we can splash that guy and flip him. What about Valky 3? Valky 3, I feel like they were just phoning it in, you know? Yeah. It just didn't have the heart that Valky 2 did. What did I get? Heroes now fall? It's fine. Look at that. Second to last pick, Imperial Seal. Remember that time Michael Apparel was like, I've had some sippies. It's right there. I can see it, so. So you do. You remember yeah, it? You... A simple yes would suffice, yeah, Michael. I forgot. I'll just look at it again. It's true. Seriously, no power? Come on, man. Seems like a weird choice in this cube. What does? Paradox Cloud. Huh? Really? Yeah. It's for Storm, right? You just pick up all your zero mana artifacts. Yeah, okay. Sold him. Upheaval. Nailed it. Do you think we're an upheaval deck with zero ramp cards right now? We, this is pack two. We have plenty of time to get ramp I cards. don't really want to take a useless pick when I... I'd rather just take a card I'm 100% going to play like a Scarab God. 100%. He'll never not play it. Right. 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 Could take a Marsh Flats, gets her Fiend's Tower. Yeah. Oh, there's a bribery. Never mind. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> that was a little goof I like to play on people, you know? A couple of goofs and gaff. Oh, uh, Red Signet? Red Signet. Fantastic. I guess it's Cloud Skate. That guy's got a high win percentage, right? Sure. Those are only. What? I don't know what his win percentage is. Well, nice doctor. Do you think a doctor would tell you that? Yes. Fascinating. It's so insane to post your driver's license on the internet regardless of the context. Oh, I agree, my man. I agree. That alone, like, regardless if he's being a bigot or not, is just, like, insane. Yep, it's wild. Oh, I don't want to tweet at him. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Oh, there's a Jund one? All right. It's two colors. Got a v, v Toots. You ever had them V Toots, Michael? I had Toots once. How was it? We could also take out Leovold and just be Esper and take like Stoneforge here. That would be taking a white card, Frank. Gee, I wonder if your time walk would go well with that Planeswalker. Oh, I got the Sass. I mean, I still think it's the the best card in our colors in this pack. Shark Typhoon's cute. Vampiric Tutor's fine. I think it's good enough to, like, kind of lean into it just a little bit, you know? 
Scooter's not that great if you're not comboing. Literally, no one takes Grim Monolith anymore. No, well, there's so many pips these days, you know? That's true. They there are a lot understand. of pips these days. That guy's got less pips. This guy can only hit Time Walk, Collector Brutality, and Bone Shards right now. If there's really no respect for Grim, you can take Avenger and hope Grim wheels. I'm actually probably just going to take the Fixing Land. Yeah, all right. That's fair. I didn't see that. Now we get a Bayou, too. Are we just four colors? Dang. Why not? Why well, shouldn't I? After all, why shouldn't I play all four of the colors? That was a reference. Yes. Oh, Batterskull? Beautiful. Beautiful baby Batterskull. Oh, Ancestral. Oh, man. Ancestral, I hope the Arcane Proxy comes back. That would be cool. Hero for the, the clone boy? I mean, not when there's an Ancestral. No, you, you little biscuit. Yeah, but what happens if it's turn like three and draw? But what happens if it's a turn on like a three and you're like, oh, check on, check on, check on, check on things. Hero's also very good with the time warp. They're Hero's dead. good with everything. You ever just turn it sideways? It's really good at that. Yeah, it's pretty That good. is a late time spiral. Oh, also my last game in uh, my last round, my last draft in game one, I went to bring a gristle back, gristle brand back with a necromancy, and they had containment priest in hand and cast it. Brutal. Sort of Feast and Famine is good. We got Stoneforge. Yeah, we're leaning into that. Oh, is it Knight's Whisper or Vampy Tutti? Knight's Whisper, man. You're wrong. You're cast a Vampiric Tutti gets anything in your deck. Name it. Name a thing in your deck. It'll get it. Well, yeah, it'll get it. Yeah! Spaghetti. Uh, if it's in your deck, probably. <laughs> Michael Perez singing about Gristleback. His handwriting is very, his, his, oh, wow. That's a on-color signet. What the fudge? That's his handwriting. It's pretty clean. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really clean. Also, his, um, his spelling and, and grammar are actually impeccable for someone who's had some sippies, you know? Couldn't be me. Mm. We know. Scalding trying to get it. It's Trop. If we want to splash the Leovoldo. Oh, it's Tower. Yes, but I'm talking about Leovold right now, Michael, so please. I'm talking about my favorite little guy, Leovold. I really want a Cauldre Complete for this deck, because I've never actually been able to put a Cauldre Complete into play with a Stoneforge Mystic. Seems pretty cool to me. You like Ponder? Ponder? We said it at the same time, like we're bros. Why is the mic so far from your mouth? I don't understand. It's like literally 10 inches from your mouth. No one's complained yet. Say something else. No one's complaining yet. Yes. Okay. Is Michael Perra on his phone? I love Mystic Confluence. I love Karn. But I also love Polluted Delta. It's Polluted Delta. I know it is, and I hate it, but I'm going to take it. Oh, what up, my dear? Is Nifty Chris in the chat? Frank, I come here to tell you, I ended up making that bridge and it was glorious. Dude, I'm so glad. That makes me feel warm and fuzz fuzzular. You made a bridge? Yeah. It's a lot of work. He's a, he's a hard worker, man. What about Elspeth? Is that a card you want? Yeah, that's pretty good. Should pretty we just take Aetherflux Reservoir, you think? Mm, yeah, all right. I don't think so. The world is your oyster, man. Your, the world is your Aether Flux Reservoir. Mm -hmm. I like him to Torak, and it's also another Arcane Proxy target. <gasps> what? Oh, bittery biscuits. There's also an Urza in here and a Tinker. This pack is insane. Yeah. I don't think it's Urza for us. It's not. I think it's I think it's Oko. Like, we have Tropical Island, Polluted Delta, and Bayou. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure Oko wins more games than Cauldra, so. Oh, boy. 
dang it, they're giving me all these tri lands that I can't even do anything with. Is it just Temple Garden? That little buddy went through one hell of a time. Cauldron might wheel, but it's going to be close. You could take Vindicate, technically. I could, but I'd rather have another land. Yeah. But we can't get it with Tarn or Delta, which is the problem. That does seem worse. <laughs> What's the other land? Island, Island Swamp. Mountain. Yeah, but we don't need Mountain. I guess I'll just take Vindicate in case we like... Wow, Watery Grave and a Time Warp. Oh, and Aspara's Headquarters, which is Bant. That seems good, right? That's really good. <clears throat> so I guess we're on the four-color train. Unfortunately, that's a dual land that we can't use. We can use it. It just wouldn't be good. Can we have Leovold. Do we just take Echo of Eons? Yeah, bro. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Also, don't you have um? You have Collected Brutality, too, so that's like a little little combo-y thing there. What's a combo-y thing? You can discard it, and then you can flash it back with the little So dust. smart. And then we can make sure they can't do anything about it, too. I think you should actually put it in your deck because of Leovold. I'll get there, okay? Don't worry about me. I'm worried. Cauldron complete. I think it's too late now. Definitely play that Worm Boy. Oh, I'll definitely play Dark Slick Shores. The problem is we have 26 playables down here. Remember when Worm was like the best print, the best creature ever? Best print, 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 print. Yeah, chubby chicken wings, you know? Yeah, chubby chicken wings is right, bro. Chinese chicken. Have a drumstick. What happens then? Your brain. What does it do? It starts ticking. That's right. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Look at these. Oh my god, look at all these look at all these thinking emojis. What's going on? I was impersonating. Do you think Vindicate is short for Vindicatelin? Catelyn or Vindicatherin? Make the pain stop. Okay, we need three cuts. I can cut vamp, maybe. I don't know, man. Going to get a bribery or like... I think we cut the double white cards. They're both good, Senior. but like... But then we have like... only We're only splashing for Vindicate and Stoneforge, and we're splashing for Oko and Leovold, which makes our mana much, much better. Fine. We got one more cut to make. Might be Hero's Downfall. No. What? No, no. I've been trying to get away from it. Why? It's your brand. <laughs> it's your brand. My brand. I literally played 41 the entire time we Q drafted. Like, I'm in danger. Much, much better. F those double whiteies. That's fair. We also have the Echo of Eons. I think I'd be more inclined to play this if we had Narset 2. But I don't know, man. Just Leofold into Echo. Especially if we had Narset 3. We could also go... I don't want to just... Like, I just... Also, if it's not in the graveyard, it's just really expensive. So I think this is probably correct. I mean, so, it still probably wins you the game, though. Even if you play it for 6. Right? I guess if you don't have Leofold, it's bad. You, right, that's, However, we have Vampire Tutor. Make it better. Sometimes I feel like a double whitey. Bone shard. I think it's very good, but it's also it's also lets you discard. So. Oh yeah, that's the newer one. The one that's broken. Never mind that one. Yeah, broken. because instead of like yeah, uh, I think it's the other sack one. a creature yeah, yeah, to yeah. kill a creature, right. it's literally sack a creature or discard to kill a creature or a planeswalker. It like it enhances every metric that the other card was. Was. It is. For the rare instance, strictly better. Yeah, it's very very good. Like, it's shockingly good. The, having a discard outlet's really good. Being able to kill Planeswalkers is really good. Like, I don't know what we'd cut for it, though. Because you're right. I mean, we want to do some broken shit. It's the cube, right? So, like, maybe cut Bribery? No. He didn't even respond. I mean, Bribery is bad in certain matchups. No, it's not. <laughs> you sound stupid. See you later. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go, stupid? How many segments you got? One. Oh, never mind. 
And it's a good one, too. If we had like two or three, you might be able to get away with shaving off a land, but... We ain't going to 16 lands? What, are you a maniac? Not currently, no. God, you sound like a lunatic. Oh, my God. I'm going to do it with Also, if you... Yes? Time Spiral is better than Echo of Eons if you're going to play one, right? Interesting. I think so, yeah. Actually, it's close because you do have one discard outlet, so it's like... No, we have two. We have Bone Shards. We have Collective oh. Brutality. Wait, we have two? Put it in there. Stop bone Shards stupid. and Collective. Put we can also him to Torok ourselves and hope we hit it, you know? Put it in there. Stop being dumb. I don't want to do it anymore. Hold on. Blue sources, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That seems good. Are you dabbing? Yeah, I'm dabbing. Black <laughs> sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That also Buddy, seems good. Getting him to cut Concentrated Sphinx is harder than... Concentrated Sphinx will win more? He can have a million pounds Someone needs hands. to be timed out. Uh, white, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. Green, we have one, two, uh, tarn, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow, this is actually, this mana base is great. Four, six, seven, eight. Oh, we even get one more. Oh, we... Four... Five, six, seven, eight. Double black nine, earlier. Ten. Yeah, I think it could be one black because we have him to Torok. That seems fine. So this is 17 lands. I kind of like it the way it is, though, you know? It's like a it's like a fine wine, man. Yeah, but you you have the Leovold and you can do the thing. Is this better than Hero's Downfall, you think? Probably not. And it's got, I feel like Time Spiral is better than Echo of Eons. Well, because of the discard outlets, I think Echo's better. Right, but this lets you untap and play like a million more things. Like, I'd rather just... Yeah, that's true, I guess. Like, the, the good thing about the discard outlets, it makes this cheaper. Like, you want to pay it for three. This, you pay for zero, right? So it's well, like... I think the difference is the fact that, like, you can set... There, there's a more realistic chance of you setting up, like, the turn three Leovold than the turn four Echo or whatever. I think it's less likely. If you're playing Leovold on three, that means you have to bone shards or collect a Pradali on one or two. Right. So the it's bone hard. shards probably not. Well, the bone shards on turn three you could do because turn four because you untap bone shards, discard, flashback. Yeah, that's true, I guess. And the same thing with like collective turn two is not that unreasonable. It's still time spiral. We'll see. We'll see. What we'll did you see. Cut for it? I cut the hero's downfall. Oh, I actually don't like this. Okay. Well, just because it's removal. Okay. Well, we're keeping this hand. Fine. And I'm not sure if I want to play this on one or yes. this on two. Oh, that's interesting. Uh-huh. I, I think we play this on one. And this will get better over time because they'll empty their hands of, like, cheap shit. So. Yeah, it's often better to play it a little bit later. Plus, we could always draw another black source and play it on two anyway. But I'd rather just get this going because Arcane Proxy's a second Ancestral. Oh, that's crazy. I agree. It's free, yeah. Yeah. Wild. I know, dude. Wild. Why can he do that in Snapcaster? Can I forget why? Okay, so Snapcaster gives the card flashback. Okay, this is which means flashback. you have to pay the mana yeah. cost and cast it. This just lets you cast it. Okay, I got you. Different kind of thing. Yeah, as long as the mana value is two or less, you can cast it, and it is. If it were an instant, would um, the torrential robot build? guy do it? Yeah, it should be okay. the same there. Okay. Because it doesn't care about mana cost, it just lets you cast an instant from your graveyard. Learn so much. But it's interesting because all three of those abilities, while similar, function very differently. Yeah, he has lands out there. He really does. It's like his favorite bed. Yeah, it's too small for him. <laughs> That's my favorite bed. Okay, Rafine's Tower. Let's do it. Our opponent's like, I'm going to leave you in the upkeep. Yep. And time walk's pretty good. Watch the game. <laughs> Go back and keep watching it. I want you to loop it. He's way higher than his mom. 
Also, whenever my opponent says big fan, that's when they crush me. So, see, now I'm wondering if I arcane proxy the time walk or the ancestral. It's probably time walk. Time walk draws you one card. Like ancestral draws you three. You don't have to decide yet. Yeah, because this is going to kill me before I ever I get a chance to figure it out. That card is actually very strong. It's insane. Oh, but they missed the land drop, so that's good. Also, I wish Collective Brutality was negative three, negative three. That was a turn two. Oh, you're right. They played this instead. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. That's a double landy, you know? It cost you ouchies, though, so. Buddy, I hate, I hate it when they cost me ouchies. Yeah, like, it's it's weird. When that for card first came out, I was like, eh, it seems okay. No. It's but then, good. like. It's like a four of in Legacy. I mean, not even Legacy. Like, I played against it randomly in Commander. I was like, this guy's just beating the crap out of us with this stupid thing. Got a Bone Crusher and a Light up the stage. Okay. I Actually, this is going to be hard to deal with. Um, That's too fat for a collective. So next turn we can go Brutality them for a card maybe in Time Walk. Because then we can actually win the, on, our, on our next turn, our Time Walk turn, we do get to um, Ancestral Vision and get all our cards back. Just kill it. Solid. Solid strategy from the Michael LaPizza. Well, I don't have a time spiral in my hand, so it's not like, oh boy. Post-combat Ravel Master, huh? It's a Fascinating. Bold move. Do we have a Wrath effect? That's too bad. Stoneforge would be great here, because then we can go Stoneforge and Time Walk. Uh, one, blue, we're going to be walking. I'm walking, I'm walking here. And then we're going to cast this and kill their rabbles. Or, you know, try to anyway. There's no guarantees in magic, you know? It's like life. Yeah, there's a box of cows in the vault. 4-4? Four, four. Well, see you later. Okay, we're doing it. We're living the dream, and the dream is just draw three cards. <laughs> you ever had a bad time when you draw three cards? I guess if they're three lands, it's going to be Well, sad. just the other day. <laughs> Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Okay, Stoneforge is one turn too late, but it's still here. We could also... Oh, we can play Stoneforge and then Arcane Proxy the Time Walk. Oh, we're getting good. This is going to this is gonna be the juice. Last night we Ancestral Recall in three lands. That was pretty bad. That didn't happen. You're clearly totally delusional, Michael. <laughs> Skibbity bop and a chicken wing. Everybody knows it's Michael B. Time walking every day. Cast it. Cast it. And now we get to put this into play. Well, now that I think they're actually kind of might be dead. Get a batter skull. Or we can get sword. Put it on this. Oh, yeah, we're doing this. Batter skull's cool and all, but. You ever done this? I don't know. There's too much going on. It is. Oh, you draw a land. It's pretty. We don't insane. need a land. We put it on here. We attack. Oh, we're just going to draw the Batter Skull anyway. That's pretty neat. I'm going to play around like Spell Pierce or something. Well, they would have shown us earlier if they had it. Maybe. For the time walk That's probably or the removal true. or any number of things, really. So now we untap all our lands, and then we get to bribery here. Yeah, that's pretty neat. We're not that low to where, like, better. I mean, you drew it anyway, but... But we're getting a creature out of their deck, so... Well, they don't have any more. That would be really sad. They're like, or you could just play Batter Skull, too, but that seems a little more risky. I don't know if Batter Skull's risky, per se. Well, it's in a red deck. There's it's it, It's a high likelihood they could have artifact removal.
So that was a hell of a series of turns. Oh, geez. Wrong. Oh. Dire Fleet get anything here we care about? I guess it doesn't matter because we have to pay for it. They also have a time walk and they're splashing it. That's wild. Thundermall. No one's ever beat that card. No one's ever beat a Thundermall? Yeah. It also does block pretty well, so... Yeah, taking Zealous now wouldn't be that great, so... Um, it could untap one of our guys. That's not that exciting. Though. I guess it's, I guess it is Thundermall. Sure. Not on the back foot anymore. All right, pass it over. That was a heck of a three turns, I think. So that's good. Did we gain two life from something? I thought we were at eleven. Back in the day, playing that guy against the uh, the tokens, the floaty boys, was very satisfying. I agree. Spectral. No, that's the other one. Can't remember the name. See you later. See you later. I guess if they have Zelos now, that would suck. Perforos is intervention for three. That's pretty good. It's not great, Bob. In that card. You have or haven't? I haven't. Really? Pretty neat. I mean, I think we're doing fine. I don't know, man. We're taking five here. Yeah, but then... They also have one card in hand. The Beast Call, you know? That's true, I guess. Michael B, he's in the sea. Can't catch him, he's a Michael B. That's, no, that's pretty good. That's <laughs> not bad, sure. Although they do get the counters, which is kind of neat, but... They get the counters? Oh, yeah. we're not going to... We're just going to make food. Delicious. This is Oko, his thief of crowns. Michael B is in the sea. It's actually pretty gross. Cooking stream? Are we cooking? Oh yeah, we're making food. Making that food. I feel like we're far ahead. So fingers crossed. Becomes a three three. Do I make anything three three? Not really. We'll just make a food. And then we'll attack and play Mole Drifter. I feel like Oko's been cooking forever, you know? That dude's probably like 400 years old or something. Let him cook. That's a meme. What the kids say. <laughs> I think that's just from Breaking Bad. We could have made the Germa 3-3, but I think having just plussing Oko for two and making food tokens is a little bit better. I guess this does block, so that is a thing, but I don't care if I just block with the... You hurt your little toe? Yeah. How did you do that? You're a little stubby. On what? This. I just scoot it back. It's got wheels on it. It's got wheels, Michael. You never. No, it goes over that. It's like literally on that for a reason. So you just push it back. Fascinating. You have the technology. <laughs> Michael, it's got wheels. Yes. I'm just playing island here. I don't need to be taking damage for, for nothing. You know. Are we doing well? They yeah. have no cards in hand, so I feel like the answer is yes. Especially if you block. I think that pretty much seals the deal. Hmm. I might. I think I might block. I think you actually block with a germ and just gain life and get the insurance. Get the insurance. I'll just probably double block. Double blocking would be even smarter, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather just get this off the board, you know? Get Killing it, off, it seems better. Get it off the board. <laughs> I'm crushing my opponent with value. Am I winning? Oh, no. See, this is what I was fucking afraid of, man. Oh, they can cast it, right? <sighs> this is why I didn't want to play Batter Skull. And you were like, it's no, there's no risk whatsoever. And I'm like, it's a red deck, Michael. They probably have a lot of main deck ways to kill artifacts. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't it? No. Doesn't it? You just, like, they kill you, you block with the Mold Drifter, and you swing back. Like, they didn't even do that. And so. we're going to double block. I guess we probably should just single block now, because they're going to abrade it, you know? But if they do that, they're, aren't they dead? Can they cast the Exile stuff forever or just for the turn? Just for the turn. Okay. That would be insane. 
car is insane. So it's not that insane. I guess they couldn't braid the braid the food. That would be a bold strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. He's really thinking about it. I'm not sure why, but uh, I mean, you kind of have to. Does it? A braid? Yeah. Not think about it, but a braid. Yeah, I was like, what was taking him so long to a braid? What was taking him so long? Don't ever take long again. See, but now they only have three mana, and one of them is an ancient tomb. Yeah, they're starting to take quite a lot. We can make another food and gain like six. We basically can't win. Wait, who's going to take a lot? We have lethal on board. Yeah, also that. And we can make this a 3 3, so. I thought they were slightly higher in life, but. No, they're not. It shows you right up here. You no can, way. You can just look at it. No, we won. Obi Wan? Like from the movie? I think you should take Time Sprout out of this matchup. Bring in Worm Coil, seems good. So does Downfall. So does Downfall. Take out V2. Oh, sure. All right. Yeah. I was going to say, Bribery doesn't seem that great against him. Actually, now that we know about the Zealous, we could set up a pretty crazy turn. So that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Oh, isn't that neato? Wowie Kazowie. Oh, belly biscuits. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could bring an Iona and cast it. We could just say red, you know? You ever say red when your opponent's mono red? You ever done that before? Well, he's not mono red, so you lied. Okay, they're splashing for literal time walk. Now, did you check the rest of their deck? Is that the only blue card? Yeah. It was like two islands and a fiery... Pretty sick splash. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't blame them. It's probably like sure. the best thing you could have in a red deck or ancestral i think time walk is actually better if you're like a red deck because that one extra turn of damage is all you need oh man are they ghosting that's really weird it feels like they've responded to the two things we've said like because we were talking about how like they were taking their time braiding and we were like now they said apologies for being slow and then we were joking about watch go watch the content again and he said i'll go check it out again so I'm like, well, the, you know, go check it out again. Could have nothing to do. With. It's just, it's just weird that there were two responses that. He also could legitimately just like, be apologizing because he's like doing sure. Else. I, no, I yeah. agree. But after like I was ghosted earlier tonight, it tilts me yeah, a tremendous yeah, yeah. amount. Yeah. And like, see, even Lapizza said I called it. Like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's very, it's like manipulative, but also like, it's weird. Cause you're just like watching them secretly, but like. Also, maybe he's <sighs> just listening to the stream and that doesn't really affect too much if it's delayed. Right? Well, yeah, it does. Cause you're, it's not, it's delayed like three seconds. Oh, never mind. Yeah. That's not good. I don't know. I guess we keep up miscalc and next turn we can Zamir Signet. See, but like, they're not playing as if like they know what we have, right? There would be, I feel like there'd be a lot more analysis if they were like, okay, I'm going to play this, but we know they have this, so maybe I don't. Like, you, you think about the plays a lot more if you know exactly what your opponent can do against them. I don't know. They didn't know you run Goblin Realm last turn to that, too. It's probably one of your best creatures. Don't tell me about creatures, Michael. So you didn't actually send the no worries at all? I didn't. All right. I wasn't sure because I didn't want to say it if they weren't being genuine and they were just being like sneaky and trolly. I don't know, man. It's in my brain, I'm sure. But like, let's ponder. Oko, Leovold, and Stoneforge. We don't have a white. So that's that's a bum bum. That's a bum bum. That's a bum bum in the Tom Tom MRO. So what you're saying is you put that one back at the bottom of the pile. That's the best we can do. I think we take Ogo first. I don't know if we take any of these, to be honest. Really? They don't do anything. Our next, What's our next turn? We're going to have five mana, and we play one Oko, and it dies, right? It doesn't do anything. Or we play a Leovold, and this guy's a 3-3, three, three, so it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, all right. Plus, they have, like, a Braid, and we can't even cast this one. So I think we're just shuffling. Okay. Like next time I'd be tempted to time walk in Heroes Downfall with one of these guys, then we just get to 
untapped course of portal? What did you just? No, not that part. Hmm. It's almost like I thought it out and, and, and realized I couldn't do what you wanted me to do, so I didn't suggest it. Or. Yes. Hear me out. I'm listening. I was just thinking. Okay. And I was wrong. And it had nothing to do with you. Little bitch. That's a bummer. Yeah. So all the things happen. She then went to reverse psychology. I hope they attack all out here. And they're like, oh, I just better hold my guys back. They did not. It's true. They attacked for five. Um, if they don't have anything else to do and it looks like they're missing land drops, then getting this guy more counters and also prowessing here seems totally fine. No, I think that's a really great plan. Yeah, I, I mean like they're trying the early game is what matters and they're trying to push through that. It's three, four. God. I'm actually a little afraid of not time walking here. But if we time walk next turn. Going hit a land is so bad. I think we have they to. They showed do this. us a braid, but well, it's gone now. They already cast it. I mean, like, you could tab out for course, right? But then we're like, you go to six, which is, I mean, they have to have two bolts. I don't know. Oh, we get to draw three here too, so that's actually really oh, good. Great, cast that. That does seem good. Yeah, I agree. That's actually an argument to play the turn walk. It just gets us into them sweet, sweet crads sooner, you know. Yeah, the sweet crads. You ever had a sweet crad before? Look, three lands, fourth land. The sickest. Beautiful. One, two, land. I gotta play black here. Oh, I guess there was a black. It was the last one. So. Also, Scarab Grab is a really good blocker. Kill it. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't care. Well, I mean, I don't want them to kill it because they only have to attack two more times when we're at ten. So. We don't really That's have the luxury. Guys. Not if they kill it. I then we just take it. like six. I don't know, Michael. If they Perforos's kill it, revenge or whatever the card was, intervention. But if they kill it, it's not something that's dome in our face, right? So that's kind of neat. Well, right, but it Unless might never like have been. Yeah, if it's Perforos, it's different. Oh, no. Rashad and Port. Fascinating. Watch, they're going to Perforos' intervention for three. And then this guy's going to become a 4-4. Four, four, and this guy's going to do. And we're going to go to four. And we're probably not going to be able to survive the following turn. So I think they got us here. I think we're dead. Got me. Intervention for three. Yep. <laughs> that's, it's all coming together. Yep. Everything's happening the way we thought it would happen. Going four. I mean, ideally we draw a three mana creature or planeswalker that we can play. And then we can hear his downfall. That's the that's the goal. That would be cool. But you know, it's not looking great. They have two cards in hand. Yeah, we're going four, that's true. It's not great. No, don't like that. Small little guitar guy. Small guitar, guitar boy. Well, it's a tune. Oh, the sale is over. Oh, it's just sold. That's why. No discount on a thing that doesn't exist. It's true. Oh wait, what? Where did that guy come from? Uh, they they took oh. the three the three man off this. That's even worse. It's not dead though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's one damage worse. And, and they get in bolt range, which is very unfortunate. What's a what's a bolt? I don't like a thing you use to stick stuff together. That's really weird. Did you yeah. make that up? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. not Torch gonna do not, it. It's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do that it. That would have been that would have done it. Fudge. That actually would have been real good. I know, that's why I said it. Hey, hey. I was tempted to bring in Vampire Hex Mage. It doesn't block a bunch of ton of things, though. A bunch of ton of things? It doesn't block a bunch of things, though. It doesn't block much, you might say. But I know it blocks you. It blocks the one drop? That's about it, though. The one drop? Yeah. It doesn't block the exile. It doesn't block... It doesn't block the 2-2 two -two because it easily becomes a 3-3. Three -three. But we, yeah. can take the... we, can put... we can put first strike damage on the stack and then take its counters off. We can also do that with Layla, actually. So I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I forgot Lelia. About that. Well. Wait, no, you can't do that, right? What? Yeah, you can. You put first damage on the stack. It deals two. 
Sacrifice it, remove all the counters. Lele is a base 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. It always feels weird because it feels like we're stacking damage with anything anymore, but it's not technically. I don't know what you're saying right now. That's a good hand. When the damage did the uh, tacky. You're not technically. Ever think about that? What is he saying right now? What is Cabalan saying? And I haven't played this game in 10 years. <laughs> damage goes on the stack. First strike damage doesn't go on the stack. It just resolves first. Was I saying on the stack? Because God, that makes me, that, that dates me. Watch, they're going to go first turn Wasteland and then we're just not going to have a Stoneforge Mystic mana. And that's going to be my own fault because that's just an amateur move. Two Battle Scrolls does seem better than one. You guys keep explaining it, but we, we know how it works. I was just saying it was kind of like stacking damage. Excuse me! I think players love explaining things. I can't explain it. Hmm. Fascinating. And, ooh, yeah, I'll use its ability. What are you, stupid? Yeah, who? That's how Mario sounds in Mario 64, right? Doesn't he sound like that? Doesn't he, Michael? Sure, I don't know. I haven't played that much. Let's look it up. Mario 64 Dude. sounds. There's going to be a lot of sounds. Yahoo! All of them in a row? Yeah, it's like every sound. Hold on. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. Mario Who. Cool. Knew they'd have it. Hello! Here we go! Woo! I'm a tired. It's me, Mario. Let's go! <laughs> Mamma mia! Okie dokie! God, that's a lot, dude. Mario's really going to town there. Bone shards. I'm not going to play that yet. That's silly. Here comes Lelia. Lelia. Got me on my knees, Lelia. You know that song from Eric Clapton? No. Really? Why would you lie about that? Does it make you feel good by yourself? What? I didn't actually know that was in the cube, to be honest with you. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, they cut it at one point. I guess we got to vindicate, right? Yeah. Yeah. A vindicate. And they do only have one one, which is kind of cool. We got plenty of green. Let's get our double black. I guess we got double black, too. Who knows what's going on, you Charge know? Charge it up. Shot it up. Oh, yeah. The whole not gaining life thing is pretty rough. Vindicate. No, don't like that. Dear God. What hath I done? You ever tear a muscle? You think it's going to happen doing something cool like lifting weights, but no, I was reaching for a can of beans. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm tempted to metamorph and just copy this stupid guy. You also bone shred it. Yeah, but that gives me good sort of two cards, and like I don't know if I'm gonna have the luxury of casting this later. Yeah, all right. On the bright side, our opponent can't gain life either, so keep that in mind. Occasionally, I'll watch those uh, gym compilations that like fails. Oh god, those are painful to watch. Some of them are kind of funny, but the ones where they actually like tear a bicep is like it's actually hard to watch. You ever watch the ones where like the bone comes out, like their arms gets like bent backwards and like the bone pops out? I've not seen one where the bone pops out, but I'm sure it happens. Yeah, it's your missing. I out. did see one where a guy is like, when you bench, there's a way called a suicide grip, which you should never ever do. It's wow, really it's, stupid. I wouldn't it's have guessed guess that by the so, name. Like you know, like you you grab the bar like this, right? Your thumb. You do it where your thumb's like kind of under it, like in a weird way, like behind it. And it's like, I don't know why people do it, but it's like really easy to drop it. So a guy dropped it and it like his peck like exploded out of his chest. 
<laughs> like you what? could you could see his like his like his muscle like just pop out like a part of his uh his pector and it looked really pector <laughs> pector <laughs> like reptor I am pector. I have one card. Oh, you weren't kidding. That sucks. Yeah, pector and alien. Everybody knows that guy. Oh, I missed that. You tore your bicep. Yeah, it's a really common injury, unfortunately. Even when not lifting weights. It's because, like, the little... This little part here on your arm that connects for these two muscles is really thin, so it's really easy to, to rip. Tell me about your thin muscle, Michael. So I assume they're just going to untap and play Bone Crusher Giant. And then we're going to draw Vindicate, and then we're going to be able to Vindicate their Sulfuric Vortex and then attack. That's what Papa thinks is going to happen. It's also why, like, all the like the weird gym bros that don't actually know what they're doing, who like do heavy bicep days, I'm like, that's unnecessary, and you're gonna have to have surgery at some day. At some day, it's really easy to tear it. Are we at some day right now? Yes, tomorrow's Monday. Today is someday. <laughs> Fantastic. Chicken someday. <laughs> it's my favorite day. Oh, a rabble master instead, eh? Fascinating. I just saw a video where, like, so when you go to the gym a lot, you get calluses on your hands, right? Maybe you do. Yeah. Most people do. <laughs> no, just you. And, like, he did a deadlift that was really heavy, and he ripped, like, the 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 uh, callus off of his hand, and he was bleeding. It was gross. What a maniac. He did the lift, though, you know, so it's worth it. <laughs> Not really, it's tough. So we're at seven, huh? Well, see you later. Tap that Rafine's Tower. You know you want to. Beautiful. Never didn't have it. Mm. Seems like a pretty bad matchup for us. You think so? I do think so. What makes you think that? Gee, I don't know, Pa. Man, if we can gain life, oof, it'd be a different game. Yeah, yeah. Sulfuric it's Vortex is really a fun magic card. You might say it's not. I would definitely say that. Actually, is that in my cube? I bet it is in my cube because it's just such a staple for the red deck. But god damn, it's a miserable card, man. Like, a lot of cube is about finding the balance between, like, miserable cards and, like, just classic discard Winsy the Game cards. Like... You know, Sulfuric Vortex sucks to play against, but it, like, gives the red deck a real chance at being great. Oh, we'd still probably be losing if you didn't have it. Maybe, wow, Mizzy of Mortars. Really? You don't kill the Banner Skull? Fascinating. I mean, we're pretty much dead, right? Like... Like, if they killed the Batter Skull, they could also Grimlava Mancer the Muldra for and get rid of all my blockers, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd be dead. So, I mean, we're still dead now, but would have been more dead. So. Oh, God. Well, the first game was really cool, and then the second two games were really miserable. So, why is this guy here? It's gone now. Why is he here? Take him away, computer. My left arm looks like Popeye. It's like that Family Guy skit. Yes. Hey man, doesn't your mom look like Popeye? I don't think so. Huh, must be thinking of somebody else, I guess. Yeah. Somebody else's mom looks like Popeye, you know? Probably. We're playing Lenny G. That's cool. Hey, it's a Lenny G. Hey, Lenny G over here. What, you think that's funny? Like Kenny G? Yeah. Except Lenny, you know. You get it. Except like Lenny, you know. Yeah, I know. You better know. 
probably better. I'll kill you. Okay, I can change the screen. I don't care. You'll be dead. Let's ponder because we want to hit Landos. Landos Calrissian. Oh, interesting. Is that enough Landos? We can go turn two walk into turn three Leo. But we're drawing. I think we, I think we gotta ship this back. Beautiful, beautiful, lily lippity boobity. This guy. Our lands, though. Mm -hmm. Gonna be dead. Big dead. What? Oh, you're a big dead. Who? You. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. I'm doing great. You understand? What do they got? 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 Tell me what they got. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What do they got? It's not a reference. I'm asking you what they got. It's called a Magda. You're giving me a Magda, Michael. You're giving me a brain charm. Good. Great. Fantastic. Fantastico. Yeah. Big fantastic. Huge. Huge fantastic. You understand? No, I don't know what's going on. He doesn't get it. They're going to kill this? Fantastic. Give me my card. Do they choose the treasure tokens randomly? How does that work? I don't know what they do. I just work here. Look, the Stoneforge Mystic came back. This is cool. Are you ever not exhausted when we're streaming together? No, oh, an old man. Look, another Laelia deck. Fantastic. It keeps happening. I know, dude. I don't get it. I feel like we never play against the red deck, and now everybody's red. Everyone has the same hasty red creatures that make them tons of value where, just, just for tapping them. Is that a dwarf, too? Yeah, is it, no, this ain't a dwarf. This is a spirit warrior. Spirit warrior dwarf? I cut it off, you can't see it. I'll never rate your purchase Amazon. They don't need it. Yes, they do. Give it to no, them. Never. Give it to them. It wasn't even mine. Wow, you, it wasn't even it's your step purchase. You're a criminal. Or my mom's or something. I don't know. Both my mom's. Hey, those are my moms. You like that? No. Why did you laugh? Because it's stupid. Oh, no, it's why stupid. did you laugh? No, it's funny because it's stupid, not because it's good. Oh, no. It was for my moms. We could also time walk, cycle, miscalc. Let's do that. And then, in a perfect world, we get to... draw one more land and play a five drop. It's gonna be better skull. God fucking damn it. That's like the worst thing we could throw on actually. Life is so hard, dude. I mean, I guess you can metamorph. Metamorph what? Metamorph their thing to exile a card. And... That's actually not terrible. I don't hate that because we don't have, we haven't played a land this turn. So. Can it play lands off of it though? Yeah. Okay. It's very good, Michael. It's very good. I believe you. Michael, it's a very good. I'm not even actually gonna not pay the life because I just want to... Yeah, what are you, a madman? Why would you not? Why would you... Why would you do that? I didn't. Good. Great. Okay. It's also legendary too, man. And you're like, hey, I'm a one man. It's an artifact removal. Artifact removal? This is a creature. But it's also an artifact. Oh, look, a creature. I Great. I guess I'm not drawing that, so that's better than the alternative. Great. You get a counter? Oh, you do. So you always get a counter. Yeah, man. What's, it's whenever you exile a card from your from your uh, whenever cards are put from your library or into a graveyard, you put a one one counter on it. So if we delve, she's getting a bunch of counters. Oh, so you can also use like a light up the stage to give her more counters. It's pretty. It's pretty neat. This card's really good, <laughs> like shockingly good. Oh dear! What on earth? Oh dear! Makes me want to make a commander deck because everything does that. It's fun. Yeah, but it's, it's gonna be mono red then. Oh wow, Gristlebrand and an Atraxa in your graveyard. Red is very I'm good just gonna hover over the concede button. 
I, I'm sure it's not bad, but I wouldn't want to play. I don't play decks just because they're good. I play them because they're fun. I like having fun when I play Magic. Well, you can make big red. Mm. Make tiny red. Also, tiny red doesn't work very well in Commander and four player. You just like do someone a lot of damage. Do and someone, then, and then you die before they do. And so they're gonna vampiric tutor for a reanimate spell. They're gonna exile it with this, and they're just gonna cast it. You ready? I am ready. Here comes in before they necromancy and Atraxa. Let's see what it is. Oh, recurring nightmare. Also good. What else is in there? Oh, Bristlebrand? That's good. They're doing very well for themselves. Long road with a top end reanimator. Well, well, if we had a black source, we can him to Torok, but then they still have Gristlebrand in play, so. Like, how does that help us? Well, you know. Goodbye, Magda. It doesn't really matter which one they sacrifice, honestly. Uh, it definitely does. You sacrifice the shitty one, right? Now they're going for the card and dose. <sighs> the card and dose? They chose a Trax and not Grizzlebrand there. Because it's much better. They're both 7-7s. Seven sevens. This one, you have to actually pay 7 life to draw cards. This one, oh, you don't. True. But you only get that once. Sure, but it how many? On what your deck I've doing. literally never drawn more than seven cards with Crystal Brand. Maybe like one time. It's pretty great. Maybe in Commander we got like forty thousand life, man. You can't play that shit in Commander. It's banned as fuck. Yeah, same. It's the most seven seven life link. This also has vigilance. It's got death touch in case your opponent blocks with an eight eight. I think if you're on combo, it's probably better you aggressive man, but they're not. They're just like playing it for value, right? I actually don't care what they got because there's like we're just not beating this, unfortunately. They have six cards in hand. Yeah, cool. Super cool. In a form of the 40 life, that card lasted, I don't know, a month maybe before it's banned. So the problem is I like all the cards in my deck, but I don't think it's good. And that makes me sad. But also we have bribery, so that's cool. <laughs> And we just keep playing against fast red decks when we're not really set up for that. So. Well, they didn't, didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. We're also missing land drops. Like, this is yeah, turn matter. six. We've hit four land drops. We've also time walked and pondered. So, like. We could have suicided for a land, but. Yeah, it would have worked. It would have been a signet. Which is worse. Force of Vigor. Hmm. Oh, I was just saying, Gristlebrand's been banned from Commander for a long time. More like Commander, am I right? Am I right? I guess if Bristol Brand is a she, sure, that kind of works. Why? Because Command Her. It's not her, it's Commander. It still has ER, you're not adding a random H. Uh, I see what you're doing. It's just the word Commander, but you say Band instead of Manned. I don't know why you put a random H in there. That's what I heard you say. But, but yeah, but then you're like, okay, let me think about it. Why would you put an H in there? It doesn't make any sense, so he probably didn't do that. It's probably just ER. No. I understand. Fantastic. Reality is what we make it. You like to <laughs> see. Reality is make it. <laughs> I right, see. I want to play this into this, but there's no way to do it because we don't have a white blue land. No. I mean, I guess we just get a Rafine's Tower, play this on two, this on three. If we hit a land, watch. We're just gonna not hit a land. Never play blue land. I know. Do it. Uh, uh, it's. Are you okay? Yeah, I get a tower again. Stupid, stupid tower. Stupid, stupid, stupid tower. Are you doing okay? Stupid, stupid, stupid tower. I don't know what you're saying. Nothing. Shut up. Jesus God, give me strength. Oh, back home. This is the same match. Oh, okay. I thought we died a million times. <laughs> I thought we died a million times. Death by a million. That's a good night, girl. That was a good land draw. That's why I played it. Oh, cool. <laughs> you should always wait until they get the thing because, like, yeah, now I might just get sword to put it on, guys. Yeah, now I'm just getting sword. Like, you always wait to let them get the expensive card that they think they're going to put in play for free. I don't know why I got swords. Because I can equip it on one of the elks that I'm going to be making. And then untap my lands and play Muldrifter. Like, it just gives us so much value. Whereas, what's a batter skull? Well, then, I mean, they can block it. This has pro black. I mean, sure, they can block it, but, like, 
how long are they going to block it for? Well, we'll be done before then. So. Jesus, you're so Jesus. negative. How long will they be blocking for? I figured that guy goes to six, which is so much. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable card. I can believe it. And you never will. Um, there's your cube then. Wow. In a couple days, I believe. Jesus, every fucking game. It's just the same game. Every every time. <laughs> they always have it. Did they play Mox last game too, right? Uh, they hit it off of Atraxa, so. Yes, we have seen it, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, that was what I'm asking. What did they hit? Hmm. Of course they did. Well, at least it survives this turn, I guess. Barely, but. Unless they go swamp, sack these two, incinerate. I don't really care about that. I would. Look, we got it anyway. The pig a man. <laughs> Make the pig a man. It only works if you have that food token, but yes, it's true. You're like basically reanimating the food, right? The devil's in the details, you know. Yes. Wow. I mean, I just don't want them to have an answer for a three-three. That's all. Good luck. It's That's good. not it. I guess we're fine then. What's this though? That's it's also not it. I mean, it gets back to our shitty Layla, which is kind of frustrating because it just kills our Oko. I mean, you can block it, which is pretty cool. One of their two creatures? Yeah. What do they get? What's it going to be? Oh, show me your magic. Show, show me your magic. Sure. So I'm tempted to block here, but. I guess it's I guess it's correct. It's got to be correct. Well, we can, we can because nothing. this stays alive, and if we draw a land, we can play sword, equip it, and then play one of these two. It doesn't stay alive either way. Oh, that's, yeah. I mean, I guess it lets the land live, though. Sure, but, like, we're just hoping to hit one land, then we can sword. Sad, so... Maybe not. Okay. One untapped land. Fucking never. Literally never. <sighs> it's exhausting, dude. One land, we get to play this, equip it, attack, they discard a card, we untap our lands, we play Batter Skull. Like, I... Uh, it's just like... That would be good, as they say. Yeah. Look, two yep. more lands. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm just going to get in there now, because I still want to do the same play next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch, they're gonna hit. 19. They're gonna hit Gristlebrand off of Layla this Layla this turn and just hard cast it. Well, you're pro black, so that's kind oh, of wow. That's an odd. I guess you get Gristlebrand. There it is. Well, they're discarding it. I don't know why, because they can literally just cast it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just cast it. Yeah, that is just cast interesting it. Interesting choice. Now you get a mountain. Just cast it. Cast it, Brev. Brev. Yeah, this is really, they're not casting and they're not reanimating it. What's going on? They might have just miscounted their lands, but they might reanimate it. Like, I don't think that's out of the question. It's so wasteful. It's a gristle brand. You just cast it. Sure. Actually, that's better than what it, what it was. Like, not only did you not cast it, but I get a mold drifter out of the deal. You got to white up. And we could have got back. Oh, it doesn't have haste. Never mind. Gonna white up. Let me just white you up. I'm gonna get a white up. It's instant sorcery. Interesting. Interesting. Do it. Do it. Well, we can't. We need one more mana. So. Well, shit. Yep. 
Yupper duppers. Yeah, man. My little puppers. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He's had a stroke. Food token is green. I wish I could float a green. That'd be cool. Or any mana, really. I don't really care what color it is. You're drawing now. I guess you can kill this? That's smart. But if you can't, then you gotta discard. Well, that's smart. Now, why do they gotta discard? Because that's what Priest and Famine does. Oh. Michael? Oh, you're talking about Insta, but I'm like, wait a minute. No, they just gotta do it now. Change the rules. They're also at five? Dear Jiminy. Oh, and Atraxa. Dear Jiminy. This is it just is our graveyard? From your graveyard. Dear Jiminy, this is Gemini. <laughs> what is it, a space station? Yeah. Dear Jiminy, this is Gemini. Come on in. God, there's so many cards that would be good. Time walk, bribery, having one more land. I almost think putting this on here is better than. Yeah, we can block it for you. Unless they kill it. <sighs> Son of a biscuit, man. Wait, oh no. I was like, what if I play this and then equip it real quick? No. You do real quick. <sighs> Time walk would have been game winning here. pretty neat you ever block before yeah it's pretty neat i mean they're gonna hit a braid off of this they're gonna tap it hit a braid and then they're gonna braid this and they're gonna gain seven i'm predicting everything that also works cool <laughs> Uh, funny. Funny guy. Like a million damage. There's an Iona that they hit off of Lelia. I guess at least they can't cast it. That's neat. But we're also really dead. So, so what? Time walk next turn would probably be game winning. We could time walk. Arcane proxy time walk. Sure. That's good. But it doesn't do much here. Make this guy a 1 3? Sure. 1 2. This is until your next turn? Until your next turn. So no matter how many turns we take. Is that coming off? No. Dang it. Time walk, time walk, time walk, time walk, time walk. Polluted Delta. Sounds good. Well, you know what they say. Not them. I don't know, man. Uh, yes. We get their tracks, so which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Pretty sneaky, sis. Pretty sneaky. Tap coming in clutch. Michael B. We're at three life. Wow, that's low. Life total get low, low, low. Oh, this is the one game where we haven't seen Lightning Bolt yet, so this is the game that'll draw and kill us with it. Around the time I was like, time walk one time. I mean, I think we do have to kill this, though. Actually, maybe we just got to track some back and block. At instant speed. Actually, what if we get a tracks and we hit time walk? That would be cool, too. Would you like to try and do that? I would. We get 10 cards out of 21. It's like 50% chance that we hit it. <laughs> it's a coin flip, bro. What's the most you've ever lost on a coin toss? <laughs> wow. Oh, this also becomes like a fucking 15-15 now. Oh, no, it's just one card. 
I thought it counted my cards that were put into exile. Oh my god, I was like... Pfft. Okay. No time walk. <laughs> oh, we got a hero's downfall, though. That's something. And a... And a riff, and a yeah. Okay. Yes, but then we are, we're tapped out. We don't have mana, and it's a legendary creature, so it's not great. Oh, for some reason, I thought it let you tap something. <laughs> that would be cool. Anyway, we'll keep moving around. We got brutality. Does brutality do anything here? You can. How much mana do you have? A thousand mana. Anyway, we get brutality. I have three mana. What do you want to do? Never mind. Never mind. We're gonna hear his downfall and kill the, yeah. the Gristlebrand, no matter what. And then we got course of portal or signet. Probably signet. And then we got a land, so I'll probably take. It's an island. And then we get a creature. I think it's Riftwing Cloudscape. I'm actually not sure here. Copying Gristle. Oh, copying is pretty good. I think it's Riffling Cloudscape. Yeah, all right. I mean, we have a blocker and a Traxa, and we also have a Hero's Downfall up, so that seems good. But, you know, anything could happen, so. Anything? Buddy, anything. Wow, we. Definitely discarding Delta. And probably Island. Gee willikers, mister. Boy, this is actually... This is a dangerous game. You think Katie went to bed? Think she's still alive? Don't know. Let's find out. We found out that Grandma plays the numbers. I can't believe Grandma does that. All right, we're going to the attack phase, which is what I wanted. It is what Father likes. They got a swamp. That's good for us. I think we just block and then heroes downfall this. Yeah. Do that. What about your doodads? Doodads. Hmm. So here's the problem. How is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. They can just still get back Gristlebrand with her and recast it. I guess we just kill it again or bounce it. But if we block here instead, they don't gain the life, which is important. Smart. And we do gain the life. So even if they get it back and recast it, like, we get to Riffling Cloudscate it? Being at seven seems better than being at three. I agree. I actually feel much better about this game now because if they get it back, they're tapping out. Else. Then we get Riffling Cloudscape, bounce it, untap our lands, play Arcane Proxy, and like do something cool. Something cool. We'll probably draw Time Walk now, so that'd be cool. It's really weird that they did that after attacking. Now they only have seven mana. What's going on? I mean, why? In what world would you not just Faithless first and try to get a removal and just kill us? That's I agree with that as well. I think at first I thought they flashed it back and I missed that, but nope. They just... Oh, cool. It's post-combat, though, so we just get this guy back. No, we don't. What? Yeah, we do. He gets exiled. Why? 
oh. because that's that's what the card does. Yeah, smart. Does it say reading the card? What does it do? It ex- explains it. That's fascinating. Hmm. Well, our opponent is doing very well. I was feeling really good until they went Ashen Rider into Recurring Nightmare into Gristlebrand again, but. And now my sword is gone as well, so that's very good. I would just do it again. <laughs> like, No? Okay. They're really just holding on to these treasure tokens, though. Oh, yes, we draw these? Oh, I totally forgot. Finally, it's been like a thousand years. One time walk. I can work with that, right? Bribery? Do they have anything left? We've seen Ashen Rider, Atraxa, Iona, and Gristlebrand here. Brutal. One, two, three, four, five. Double blue for Sphinx. One blue. I think we're actually one blue shy of being able to ponder, cloud skate, and time walk here. So that's unfortunate. I mean, I think we still have to pawn. We we can, but I don't think that's the best. I think we'd rather just Vindicate or Heroes Downfall this to get rid of it. Thank you. Waldo, what up, my dude? It was good seeing you on my Facebook post as well. He's got to take a shit. <laughs> he goes, yeah. Oh, we're in the upkeep. Hold on, we get one more, we get one more draw. We should just go to our... Our main phase. Oh, bone shards. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Hmm, that's actually really interesting. One. Okay, we're definitely shuffling. And another land. Fantastic. So. Cast. Uh, discard a card. Let's discard Demir Signet. No, we want the mana for next turn. Let's get rid of Brutality here. That doesn't do anything. So we want to be able to go like this. One. Oh, we didn't get Time Walk. I was like, let's, let's do it so we can Time Walk. And I'm like, oh wait, we didn't get that. So what do we got? We got six mana. Proxy for three into time walk. Good lord. So we go one, two for proxy. One, two for Demir Signet. Then we have one, two, three. And then we have to hit it. I guess that's as good as we can hope for here. We could also just try bribery and see if they have a fourth target, but I really seriously doubt that they do. Uh, blue. Cast with prototype. Hmm. Time walk. Still no time walk. <laughs> Oh, boy. We're having a good time, aren't we? Yep, that's probably the game. That's actually incredible. I guess it's in the last eight cards of our deck. Did it secretly get removed? No? Okay. Wild. Should have been planes, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point. And I guess they can't attack us, so that's something. Yep, they had to do that. <sighs> I mean, Ashen Rider in the graveyard is just really exhausting. Yep, lately, of course. We block, it doesn't die, they get a free card off of it, then they get to sack it post-combat to Recurring Nightmare. The value here is... I mean, I was actually tempted to get Bone Shards to kill the Liliana, because they, then they couldn't do this. But... Yeah, I don't know. Like, we're at a point where, like, our permanents aren't super 
Oh, actually, if they get Ashen Rider and they don't redo, I don't know. I, it is not getting rid of two of my lands does not seem great for us. I mean, maybe if we time walk this turn, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna have like seven lands, maybe. Okay, maybe eight lands. Now they do it again, get back Crystal Brand, Sack Dash and Rider. Oh, they didn't do it again. I am very intrigued by that decision. Like, I'm almost convinced, I, th I almost think we do kind of bribery here just to see what they have. We have seven cards left. Might not be nothing. <laughs> sure. Ragavan was the best card they had. Now they have Deluge, Vengeance, Incinerate, and three lands. I'm just going to play this as my land because at least Spara's headquarters gets us a little closer. Also, if they kill this, they lose something else, so. Interesting. So we have... Swamp, Mountain, Library. What were the other three cards? Deluge. They got a Deluge for five? This has been a game, man. Five, one, two, three, one, two. Uh, it would be interesting if we could have played this for three. Oh no, it wouldn't about it wouldn't matter if we bounced it because then we couldn't replay it as a Ashen Rider because the first the first one would have taken taken care of the Ashen Rider. Okay, we knew you had that. There were no creatures in your deck, so. Gorios for Gristlebrand. Oh, the haste? I guess that just kills... No, we, can, we block, right? Am I crazy? But now we get rid of Gristlebrand. Like, it gets rid of it anyway, but now they can't Recurring Nightmare something back. Unless they get rid of their Liliana as well. And now it's exiled forever, so they can't sacrifice it and keep it, go keep it coming. Boy, guys, I hope you guys aren't hating this match, because it's really grindy, dude. Yep. They milled two more cards. So Toxic Deluge is gone. So I'm actually not sure what they tutored for. And they have three cards in their library. So if we have a way to just <laughs> we'll make them draw three. Yeah, I'm wondering if it is Swamp Mountain Library. I'm sure they didn't take one of those with their... Gorgeous Vengeance being the tutor does make sense, so they might just have nothing. That's kind of interesting. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually just like. One, two, three. 
Cycle for me. Still not a time walk, huh? Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. Michael B's back, he went to Brown Town. They have one card in their hand and three presumable lands in their library. What their one card is, Frankie does not know. They can't reanimate any flyers, I don't think. That can deal seven. Especially fast. Like Ricky Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Well, that's the end. Library and Swamp go to the graveyard. So I assume that one of their last cards is a mountain. And we win the game. Fantastic. Right. An exhausting victory, but a victory nonetheless. I actually kind of like the Echo of Eon's Time Spiral package here. Oh yeah, because he gets stuff out of the graveyard. Yes, excellent. So pro black was valuable. It's just I wonder if it's too expensive. This deck feels really good for bribery. I think our deck is fine like this. I think we just have to draw decently. Nice. Yeah, we had six cards in our library. I think five, and we still didn't hit our hit our time walk. So you know, hey Lenny G, forget about it. This is worth keeping because you can like. I mean, we can collect a brutality and see if they got, and then we got. Course of Portal. They went down to four cards. So this is probably very good against them because they're probably keeping a uh, a combo-centric hand. What was that noise? You don't, ever, you don't ever get concerned when you hear noises? No. That's weird because we have like a lot of pets in the house. Well, this one's over here. Uh-huh. Those two are up there. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Big glass. Yeah, it's, it's acrylic, Michael. That's it. This has black. This has green. We definitely don't need more green, so we'll tower. You understand? Michael, do you understand? Again, slower. This one is black in cool. addition to the white and blue. Thank you. This is green in addition to the white and blue. <sighs> I went too far. They're both gold. I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly tap for gold. Oh, now we can actually discard a card, kill this, and get a card out of their hand. That's brutal full. Cast. Uh, target. What, brutal full? Yeah. Because it's brutality, bro. You get it? No, I get it. I just, it's just painful. <laughs> choose target opponent. Choose a creature. And we're going to discard. What do you think? This one... No, I actually kind of want to get rid of this because I don't want to have to play a tapped land. They're probably going to concede here, to be honest. Yeah, it seems pretty bad on four. They get to go to one. Library doesn't seem particularly good here. Yeah. I mean, their hand, is li like, their hand is library, so... They're going to top deck uh, the three drop. <laughs> <laughs> we get to go Oko into Chorus of Portal. That seems good. Okay, that's Light gone. On. Every game, oh, finally. Okay, I think we can win. Blayla. Blayla? Yes, this is Blayla. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your Blayla. What do you want to know? Nothing. I was just kidding with you. Oh, okay. It was just a little, little joke. A little, little joke Yeah, I was just a little doing a little goof and a gaff. Mm. Right as rain. God, it feels like we might win a game. Or a match, rather. Iona and Swamp. I mean, all they have to do is hit a reanimate card, and they're they're in business. No, they're not. We have Oko. Never mind. Why did those enter the exile zone? 
Get in the zone. Exile zone. No, but does this does Moto make you put him in exile before you discard him or something weird? I don't know. <laughs> stupid. You're stupid. Got him. Stupid a fucking game. Stupid a fucking game. That's right. Water. It's delicious. Have I ever what? Had water. Water? Yeah. Don't think so. Try it. It's not really for me. Well, now they have three cards. We don't know any of them. Now they have two cards. We don't know any of them. Now they have one card. We don't know any of them. Stop. He'll never stop. We're gonna coercive portal. We're gonna homage. I bet they name. I bet they say carnage. They did. They were like, please. All right. Well, there's a chance. No, there's no chance. No. I said no, Michael. I don't know. He makes click once or twice. Once or twice, boy. That's that's generous. <laughs> Hello, myself in the future. Ha <laughs> ha. That's funny. Because he's referring to the VODs or the YouTube videos. You know what I mean? Mm. Never never don't have this card. I think I've played against this card in every game in this draft so far. Hey, it took him to our turn five. That seems pretty good for us. They got a Rakdos Signet. They can't cast that. Took him till turn five. It's pretty good. Oh, now they can cast it? Oh, my God. Where's the justice in the Shocking world? events. I mean, there's no cards in it. I think we're too high. You'd think that, wouldn't you? think that we're gonna homage again good job he carnaged so one two one two three oh they have no cards and we hit him to torok well that actually makes bone shredding a lot easier bone sharding i sharded <laughs> you said it we both said it and discard the him to torok it's not doing me any favors, if you know what I mean. Sure it is. Give you this card. 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 Me. What do we get? Batter skull or sword? I think it's sword. Really matters, but yeah. Sword is better because we're ahead. So be more ahead. Gonna copy that. Mole drifter. Mole drifting and it feels so good. You know, uh, I can't imagine a series. Actually, they, they do only get to draw one card a turn. So, I, yeah, it's going to take a bit. It's going to be a little harder to fix. Also, their combos are just like getting a big idiot and the, their colors we protect from. I like the way you die, boy. He's already dead. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. Easy to one. And we're back. If the chat seems weird, it's because I went to the bathroom and I paused the video. For all you YouTubers. For all you tuberinos. I'm a YouTuber. That's cool, bro. And by that, I mean I consume the YouTubes. I don't make any of the tubes myself. Hey, man, I had an idea. Oh, God. And by that, I meant, really, Mike Larson suggested it. Let's see what Michael Larson said. He's not here. Dang it. it was, no, it's in our it's in our commander what chat. What was it? Let's hear it. Um when I spell table, I could use your stream to do it and then provide you free content. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. But I feel like there's a lot of setup though. That's the only problem. Yeah, and no, I haven't tried the mayo meatball sandwich. With pepper jack? Oh, God, I forgot it's Pepper Jack on it, too. Oh, Jesus. It's delicious. It's really good. No, it's not. You're right. I just made that up. This hand's actually good. Turn two stone, forge into Leovold. So they'll have lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Question. Oh, we're if... playing against OG Bobby Rhombus again. Oh, shit. Yeah, the Bobby Rhombus OG. Well, you see, there's regular Bobby Rhombus, and then there's the OG Bobby Rhombus. Oh, you're making a joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've played against him before. What do we have? I don't know if you have, but we as in me in the chat have played against OG Bobby Rhombus. See, I wasn't sure if you were, you have or you were making a joke because of the name. Oh, Rhombus, you're being a little bitch. <laughs> like, it was pretty rude. You just, you just hyped him up and he just, 
Just... I know, dude. I'm like his hype man, and he's like, kill your land with strip mine. So if you combine marinara with mayo, does it become... Disgusting. It's an aioli or something. Well, no. Does it become... um uh, A marinero. What's the sauce called at the, the Indian place? I think, like a masala, mar, yeah, masala does, sauce? Does it become a masala sauce because there's cream in it now? Yeah, it gets all creamy, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Oh, no. Make it cream. Inedible, yes. So yeah, do I wow. Riffling Clouds get here or do I Stone Forge? Because our plan is not to put the thing into play. It's to it's to play Leovold next turn. I mean, getting a pro green sword seems pretty good, eh? White on gold said cream me, daddy. So. Yeah, I read it. I <laughs> just I didn't want to read it out loud, but you did. What did you say? What was your recommendation? Uh, getting a pro green sword seems good. You're right. I mean, I think pepper jack on a meatball is like not ideal, but I, I could see it. But then when you add the mayo, that's really where it gets worse. You I don't know? think either of those are actually suitable. No, not good. It's not good. <laughs> it's disgusting, you might say. Well, I haven't tried it, but you know what? I haven't tried dog shit either, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's disgusting. That's Washington. I think there's <laughs> I think there's definitely um Oh, oh fascinating, <laughs> fascinating. Um fast bonding. I mean, there's definitely a way to to intuit whether food is good or bad, right? Like you don't have to like try everything. I'd try it for a meme if someone offered it, but I wouldn't pay for it. Are they going to attack? They're in the they're in the combat step. Like I think it wouldn't be good, but I don't think it would be foul per se. You're pre pretty foul though, so yeah, I am. But that doesn't matter. Oh wow! Now it's do we Oko or do we Leovold here? Oof! They're really giving us all the. Well, you can make their guy not a thing. They do have fast bomb though, so. Yeah, but I think. That doesn't... I don't know. Put the chat back. Oh, my bad. Need to hear from the people. I feel a time spiral lurking. For them or for us? Oh, that's interesting. That being the case... Define what you mean by how many subs till we get the mayo meatball substream. Does that mean I have to eat the whole thing? Because that's... <laughs> yeah, man. Put it in your mouth. If I have to eat the whole thing, you're going to need a lot. Michael was also going to join the stream topless tonight. But he, he was afraid you guys would like it too much. You know, it would take away viewers. No, no, it's against terms of service. That's all. It's pronounced T-O-S, bro. <clears throat> all right, Sylvan. In a way, you're not wrong. In, in another way, I'm right. Hey, man, whatever makes you uncomfortable, you know? Oh, another forest? They have two cards in hand. What's it going to be? Oracle of Moldiah. No. Course of Portal. That's a cutie. Cutie tootie, soft and fruity. Give me a spank on the booty. You don't like that? That one was too much, you think? That's fine. I appreciate that. This one's coming in, and then we're going to time walk. The pro green sword seems good against the pro green, the almost mono green deck, right? Remember that time when we drew half our deck, and we're like, what are the odds to be a time spiral? You can time walk? Time walk again? Time, 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 time. Good. Actually, I think it was Time Warp. Uh, Zhao Zin's Revenge, or whatever that card's called. <laughs> he said, I want to draw cards, and then he did a sad face. And I said, listen, Robert. Wow. Get back in your rhombus. Call my government name. It's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my government name. I kind of like Force of Vigor here because it kills Sylvan Library and it kills Fast Bond and it kills Courser. We've seen several cards that it just kills, but it's double green. And is that too hard? I don't know. Well, if you get a Oko, you can exile it to make it free. Jesus, who would ever do that? Desperate times. I would rather die than oh, do that. Oh, you can also do the Leavold. Please leave. I think the odds are higher to get rid of Leavold than Oko, but... Lilyavold. Lilyavold. I'm just gonna submit it. Lilymer. What? Lilyavold. Oh dear God, he's actually deteriorating right here on stream. Oh shit, my battery's low. Look at this. Oh 
no, his battery's low. You like it because it's magnets? I like it because it's magnets. <laughs> Michael. Michael's I like the magnets. So, I really want to get Spara's headquarters, but it doesn't give us double green for him to Torok. Double green for him to Torok. Double. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> double black for him to Torok. Not going to work out well for you, buddy. Because the last thing I want to do is get Rafine's tower and then not be able to cast like an Oko or a Leovold if we draw it. You should probably play for the cards that are in your hand. Smart. <laughs> also, you can just wait to play but the But that's card. not always true. Like, you, I mean... Once you wait... Yeah, like, we can take one one turn off and play this a little later. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Well, because... You like playing wrong? <laughs> you son of a bitch. I mean, it's just like, there's no reason to play the fetch, right? We know the math is, is pretty insignificant. And we know if we do it this way you have a much better chance of casting your future spells you draw. Bitch. Here comes a strip mine. You ready? That would be rude. Rude as rain. Wall of roots. Here it comes. They're slow rolling it. Okay, that wasn't it. But now they got four cards in hand, so this is going to be pretty decent, maybe? Pew, pew. Just get half of them. Oh, we got a we got a, a breeding, and a two first. Breeding two. Also, if we draw arcane proxy, I would definitely do it again if they had enough jimmies in their hand, you know. Yeah, man. Oh, I knew it was gonna be a questing beast, and I was like, vindicate. Yeah, we get you once, you know. But we always again. get you once. Fool me once. Won't get fooled again. Good job, George Bush. Said no one ever. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually a lot of people said that, but those people are stupid. He wasn't great. Well, that's a good one, too. Now I can copy it, though. Okay, now we're just going to get tropical, because our hand is great now. And then we're just going to be like, boop, boop, boop. And a bluesel. Time's wasting. They were being paid by him, probably. Homage? Sure, I'll give you an homage. I'll give you an homage. What do you mean? Yeah, you could choose Carnage. Fast Bond, not very good when you only have one card in here. Think if you pick Carnage, I'll pick Carnage? I'll say it. I'll Carnage you. They didn't do it. Damn it. Oh, that's not bad. Smart. Smart boy. So we can't play in over five drops. The best we can probably hope is Collective Brutality. If I had a creature to this card, that'd be pretty sick. They have one card in hand. But then I'll have two. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this, has been, this has been wise words with Michael B. They only got one card, but then I'll have two. Probably just kill the bird, yeah. Also, like, we don't really need better skull, right? He laughed at me saying carnage. I mean, you don't need batter skull, but it's a creature, Michael. What do you hate about? What do you got against creatures? Well, like, I don't think he has that much removal. I think collective brutality for his last card plus killing the bird seems really strong. Like, I, I think, think we just kill the bird. Yeah, I don't. That's the other argument, but. They could have a nothing burger in hand. So. Right. And like they're, they're drawing two a turn. So it's like, it's not like they're going to never Don't draw. Don't you want to know? Mm. It could be anything. I don't think so. Even a boat. It's not a boat. Could be though. They could play Sky Sovereign. Um, There's a boat in the game. There's no Sky Sovereign in this cube, even though you said Sky Sovereign. No. <laughs> Michael, we all know what you did. I'll do Carnage again. Pretty sneaky. Dang it. I like the space. Dang it. Well, yeah, it's not one word. <laughs> sure it is. No, it ain't. It's the word dang and it's the word it. No, dang it's one word. It's not. It's like damn it, but dang it. Everybody knows. Shut up. 
Dear God. All carnage again. You know what? You'll do it one of these days. <laughs> I don't think you will. But I admire your aspiration. Damn it, Robert. Ooh, look at this. Look at this, sweetie boy. Okay, I looked at him. Now what? Just keep looking. Okay. Also, Leovold, when they have Chorus of Portal. Ooh. Little chef's kiss. But don't, but don't vote Carnage anymore. I will stop doing that correct. Uh, this was supposed to be the black, right? So I say black. You're oh. the pilot here. <laughs> Look at me. I am the captain drunk. now. Oh, I'm using oh, double black. This is oh, not God. good. Just oh, cancel. Just can't. Just abort the whole mission. <laughs> One green, blue, and then sort it up. Uh, Shut up. Now he's going to say Carnage. Sword of mayo and meatball. Wow. That's my favorite sword. That's my favorite sword. Homage again? But you can't draw two cards because of Leo. I guess that's... <laughs> I feel like they're going to crater hoof. I just feel like it. I just have it in my... It's my soul. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Oh, I don't like... I don't like this. There's another way to get it back, though, right? But that's cool. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, how do they have all the mana? Oh, shit. Oh, god. Oh, no. Well, I can kill Ollie of Old and make us discard a card, which seems bad. So I don't like that. Oh, they can also write Carnage if they want. That's fascinating. They're not going to do that. They might, though. They're not. <laughs> but what if they do? They're not. They're just going to kill our board. They also failed with fine with Mystic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had exactly ten. That's wild. I was not afraid of the Mind Slaver, but I should have been. They're going to bribery and fail to find, I bet. Well, we didn't see the main Mind Slaver, right? Man's minds, man's mind slaver. Yeah. Oh, I failed to find. Uh, get lever, get wrecked. They're going to bone charge discard to kill our Leovold. Yep, that's pretty good. This is painful. I'm in pain. I'm having what's known as a bad time. So they got rid of Bribery, Leovold, Scarab God, and Bone Shards. Oh, speaking of Mind Slaver, this is really off topic, but uh, at my job on Saturday, one of the persons who recently got promoted to workforce management, the thing I was going to apply for, and then like I was having a little bit of trouble on a call, but then I was done, and then like they were live monitoring me, but then she just took over my mouse, and I was like, you should not be doing that live on a call when I'm taking management calls, and I have no idea why, nor did I ask for it. That feels really It's really invasive. weird. I think she was mad because I responded to like, I was in the bathroom, she was like, I, well, we need you back, and I'm like, well, I was still in the bathroom, so I don't know what to tell you. Would you like me to push my poop out of my rectum <laughs> faster? Yeah, it was really weird. Would that make you feel better? It's also weird as someone who used to be on my team and understands that, like, I'm not messing around, man. I, I know you guys need me. <laughs> Sounds like you're just bullshitting. You understand? I was regular shitting. <laughs> <laughs> it literally took us all man. Literally just going to the bathroom. I'm not like... That was funnier than it should have been. I'm not pretending to be to the bathroom to, to leave for nine minutes, man. Like, what? Yeah, just, just, just take up smoking and then they'll just give you smoke breaks. That's just how offices work, you know? Two, three, four, five. Robert Rhombus, he's coming to save the day. I actually think it would be really funny if someone in the chat was like, and our smoke break, and we're like, that's not a thing. I said NR like anybody knows what that means. I had no idea what yeah. NR was. <laughs> it's it's the it's break codes. It's a it's a it's you a sound real like you're in a cult. It's a real specific to my job only thing. Look at this fat Phyrexian germ. NR stands for not ready, as in you can't take calls. 
Well, I mean, you're and you took an NR ship break. Why isn't that just fine? I think it was. Man, that mind slaver was good. Also, they had our they had their deck up. We didn't look at it long enough oh. because I didn't I didn't think I could. I I didn't think it was worth it at the time because I wasn't getting the creature, but probably would have been nice to get in hindsight. The most the reason actually why I responded with a little bit of salt was because she she messaged me directly. And I was like, yeah, I just got back. And she's like, yeah, everyone can see that. I'm like, if you can see that, then why the fuck did you ask me? It's like, if you're, if you're looking in the chat already and you see what I said, then you know you don't need to message me on top of it. This one sounds like she shouldn't be in the job she's in. No. Also, usually workforce management never bothers people live. They, that's like, I literally have never talked to anybody in that team ever until now because she just used to be on my team. The only thing I, I noticed was Ulamog as well because it just really stood out against all the other green cards. Did they draw a card? Wow. Fascinating. They're, they're... I hope they don't mind slavers again. That'd be not Well, cool. it's in the graveyard. Seems unlikely. That's where it comes back from, though. Oh, no! I, I, I would be shocked if they were playing, like... You can play regrowth, I guess. Mm, that's true. I, mean, I, I think if you were playing mind slaver, you'd probably definitely take a regrowth, yeah? Or eternal witness. Or oh my god, the, what is this? What is the happening? MDFC that does it. Seven mana. God, we were doing so good when we him to Torok them and Oh dear Jesus. I guess this guy's still good though. We just need to draw cards, you know. Well, plans to go and murder us. Oh no, you I mean it's got pro guy. green and it's vigilance, so that's good, right? Yeah, but that's a lot of damage. Well, we'll just draw a time walk and it'll be fine. I don't think it's in our deck anymore, to be honest with you. The only draw early one's useless. <laughs> Wowie kazowie. Oh, wow, we're doing it. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, this is the beauty. It's all happening. Four, five. Gonna get the mole drifter. Good job leaving up blue sources. Thank you, Michael B. I'm gonna time walk. Can you see me? Do, 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 do. This is a folk song that I just wrote. Hope you guys like it. Yeah. It wasn't great. Get the 10 ball on too. That's pretty cool. This is, actually a, this is actually a lot of damage, but next turn we get to attack for 8 more, so. And then we're gonna actually cycle this Spar's headquarters. Ooh, also, you should move the batter skull to the fish. Actually, that doesn't matter. That doesn't really do anything. That's stupid. God, you're stupid. Yeah. Arcane proxy. Well, might as well. It's never leaving my hand otherwise. Might as well put a guy on the board as well. You yeah, let the bodies hit the board. Okay. We don't have any targets, though. I'm going to look. Okay. I like shuffling. Do it again. I'll shuffle all day. I'll we'll crack this guy and just get a buh 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 by you. Remember that video where that guy went by you was really excited and then passed through like five lines eye diamonds that he didn't care about? That was wild. He was very excited. <laughs> but he was real excited later. <laughs> Good carnage? You had your chance. Come on, Arcane Proxy. Go, Arcane Proxy. Yeah, you need to calm down, sir. I could still be an Arcane Proxy. It's a Wendy's. I'll give you a Wendy's. It sounds dirty. It didn't sound great. I was uncomfortable with it. <laughs> I guess the double course of Portal is a thing, huh? One, two, three, four. Big coercy. My mercy. So we just really have to survive here, right? What's the matter, Michael? Did little Jimmy not answer your message? 
like Santa Claus. I would always joke about saying Jimmy, but this is the actual person named Jimmy I'm talking about. Oh, it's all Ulamar. Oh, no, well, they're all gone now. I'm about to get mind slavery. Whatever, we're just going to play this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but here we go. All right, they get two draws. Yeah, Jim Mulem. Oh, that my God, they're at one? Oh, it's God. It's really hard to read blue text on top of black. What are you looking at? The chat. I have no idea. I agree. It it's Super Fritz. Oh, okay. It's old Fritzy. Okay, they have 26 cards. Let's see if they hit Hoof. They said you're going to force me to top deck a hoof. Mm. So my impression. I couldn't read it. Is yes. Because your cup was in the way. I thought it was because you were illiterate. It's both. <laughs> it's a little, little column A, a little column B. Now that I'm learning Spanish, I, I stop reading English. I can only read one language at a time. I mean, you weren't great at it, so it was, it was probably smart yeah, to just give up. for the best. Just start fresh. You're still in your upkeep. What are you doing? Oh my god, I think he forgot he gets another card. Oh, and he has still in library. Oh, this is so many cards. He also has Toothy and Naily in and out. <sighs> oh no. Jeez Louise, I'm so uncomfortable. Can't take any extra cards. That's kind of neat. Yeah, but he's got like a two. Still gets to look at him though. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm sweating. This is a sweat. Okay, that's not going to do it. And I also don't think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they can't crack a clue and play tooth. Tooth? I mean, hoof. If they just slam it. I meant hoof. I meant, I meant anything. They can't do anything now. One, two, three, four. You guess they like cradle into hoof, maybe? I don't know if they have cradle, but. That's good, but it doesn't. I don't think it kills us, though. It doesn't do anything right now. Well, it makes a creature. Oh, a creature. Tell me more. Yeah. Well, gee willikers, mister. So there are threes. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's not quite enough. Well, Dang gone. it, Robert. We gone. See you later, Robert, man. Let's see if he said anything else. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Yeah, slam it. Support the channel. Support your local content creators. I'll see you next time.